So I'm back here with the dummy car and the two LEDs that I fitted in there. I was running them just with this uh, spare battery case for a 9 volt battery. That's too much to fit in there. A 9 volt battery fits in there quite well. I've just cut some of the reinforcement away from this uh, section here and that allows the 9 volt battery to fit in there perfectly with this uh, adapter. Now I can test, I, I use these junction boxes they're very convenient you can get I don't know 100 for a couple of quid from China they're very very convenient. Now if I just push that and put that into there see that everything's working. Now what I have here is a very very small rocker switch for on off. I'll probably introduce the switch into this section here. If I just drop that into there that really fits nice. That was almost made for it. So where are we underneath? That would be there on the underside. And that will allow me to just flick the switch, turn the lights on and they can stay on for the entire running session. So that's fine and when I do need to change the battery or if I'm going to put this away for a long time it's a simple matter of undoing a couple of screws take the battery out. So now I'm going to cut a hole and fit the switch. I'll probably do a, a quick test first actually just to make sure it's working before I, if I flip the switch. Right, there we go look. The switch is on, that's open, it completes the circuit and I switch it off you get nothing. So on, make contact, makes the circuit and it's that simple. I've drilled out a hole and messed around in there with the drill to make a, a kind of an oval. Then I've taken a needle file, a square one, and just filed out a rectangle. Every now and then checking the switch because the switch on the other side of this it has a kind of a a clip connection where you push it and it clips in and it holds itself in so just gradually making this rectangle slightly larger and then testing eventually with a good push that went in and as you can see 
is a good fit. So now I can just test that. That's on and off. No problem at all. Okay, so that's all now wired in. You can see the switch underneath there. And if I just flip that on, you'll see the red LEDs. If I turn the light out, they are bright. And what I'll do is all of that will get a coat of black paint inside all the way back to here because that, that's how much it's bleeding through and then inside there I will, I will be making a small compartment that completely isolates that from the rest of the machine